Hey, good evening there, Jane. That's right. Many businesses, uh, many bars and local music venues have, have either had to pack up or pay out because of the rising cost of liquor liability insurance. And they say many more could join them. They say there is a flaw in the system and this can't wait another year. It's back to work for South Carolina lawmakers next week, and one of the many things on their plate is to solve the problem with liquor liability. That has heated up uh, in a mighty way um, to get our attention, and so um, there's been a great lobby on that, and so I know we, we will be talking about that. We have a lot of small businesses that really struggled throughout 2023 because it's too easy to sue people in South Carolina. This all stems from a bill passed in 2017 called the Dram Shop Bill, which requires businesses that serve alcohol to have a $1 million liability policy. The bill has caused insurance rates to skyrocket over time. It has just gone above what, where it should have ever gone, period. Um, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable for me or uh, most of the people that I talk to. The SC venue crisis is a grassroots movement that has spent the last eight months spreading awareness about this issue. We need caps on payouts. We need um, the money that should go to the victims to go to the victims of any sort of incident. Since starting last year, there have been several bills filed that Merck says would be a huge help. But if nothing is done soon, it'll be game over for places like Pinkies. So sad and so heartbreaking every time I see a friend of mine, even those that I don't know, having to close the doors. We've made this part happen. We need other people to join in and help make other things happen too. The SE venue crisis is planned to hold a rally next week at the steps of the State House. The same time, lawmakers are expected to be back in session. Early festivities start at 8.30. We'll have a link with more information on our website on WYFF4.com. Just look for this story. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.